We have dramatic video of a crime spree that unfolded last week in Morgan County. For more than 35 minutes, a carjacker at the wheel of this truck swerved in and out of traffic, reaching speeds of more than 100 miles an hour, all in an attempt to escape police. The entire time, the owner of that truck was trapped in the bed of the pickup, unable to jump out. Our Alan Janae met up with that man today and shares his story. In the rising sun of a Fort Morgan morning, Sheriff David Martin takes off after a pickup he spots doing a high speed in the other direction. At the wheel is a man who just carjacked a vehicle, but in the back of the pickup is the owner, hanging on for dear life. Do you remember getting in the back of the truck? No, I don't. Scott Copas had just arrived at his job at the recreation center when suspect Juan Berenici approached from across the parking lot. And he comes up to me and he goes, you're giving me a ride. It's like, no, I'm not. And he goes, give me your truck. It's like, no, I'm not. That led to a wrestling match. Berenici grabbed the keys and Copas jumped in back. But all I did was get to this point, hunker down, grab my phone, calling them and holding on. Clinging to the load lock bar, talking to 911, they went east on Highway 34. All I kept thinking in my mind is, I got to get this guy to stop. Hanging on one hand and talking to dispatch on the other. Through brush and Akron, reaching blistering speeds. And I remember one time I'm telling dispatch, it's like, this could go real badly. Police had arrested Berenici the night before for trespassing at a motel, a misdemeanor, which under Colorado law meant he was able to walk free on a personal recognizance bond at 4 a.m. the next morning frustrating to the police chief. There's underlying issues that, that made us feel like he may be a concern to the community. Only stop sticks could finally slow him. The tire shredded with Copas ducked down in the back. Deputies closed in. Get your hands up! Law officers and Copas had their man after a terrifying ride. He gives me a dirty look and I just look at him and I can smile. The suspect, Juan Berenici, is now back in the Morgan County Jail, this time facing a far more severe set of charges. For a time, the sheriff's office said they needed to put him on a suicide watch out of concern for his safety. In Fort Morgan, Alan Janae covering Colorado First.